Hi guys! Welcome back to K Kitchen. Raf here. I'm going to show you how to make lemon curd. Lemon curd adds such a nice flavor to cakes and I really love using it. So I hope I can show you today how to make it. We're going to start by getting 150 milliliters of lemon juice. I'm using a lemon squeezer to help me. Um, but you can also use a fork if you don't have one. If the lemon's quite firm, you can actually roll it first like this, just to help you. And then when you cut it, you can also like cut across in the middle, just to prepare it. And then squeeze it. I'm just trying to be careful to just reach 150. We actually need the zest of one lemon as well, so from the lemons that you're cutting, the one with the nicest skin you can choose and that's what we can use for the zest. The zest extracts a lot of flavor, so this is quite important. I'm just gonna put this on the side. The magic formula is one part caster sugar, one part lemon juice, and one part egg yolks or eggs. So now I have 150 ml of lemon juice. I also have 150 grams of caster sugar. I only really need 150 grams of eggs. I can use egg yolks, I can use full eggs. I prefer using egg yolks because it's just richer. You have all the fat coming from the yolks. And also it's quite useful because the egg whites I can use for my buttercream or for my meringue. All right, I'm just gonna cover this, set it aside, and we're gonna start. Now we have our ingredients ready, all we need to do is get a pan, put some boiling water in it, just until maybe it's like half a centimeter or a centimeter deep. And we're getting a heatproof bowl to go on top, and this is what a bain-marie looks like. And um, this will allow us to heat the lemon curd in a more gentle manner than being on direct heat. So we're going to turn that on, put on medium heat, and we're going to put all the lemon. We're also going to put the zest of one lemon and the same weight of caster sugar, 150 grams. We're just going to mix it. What we're trying to do right now is just melt the sugar. Once the sugar is melted, we're going to add the eggs and then heat it continuously over medium until it thickens. We can see that the sugar is already melted, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my eggs in. I'm actually going to break the egg yolks um, before putting it in to make it easier to incorporate. You want to continue mixing while you're doing this so you won't have lumps. Now is actually the part that will take a lot of patience. It might take 20-25 minutes. We're trying to reduce the mixture until it thickens. You're not whisking in air by the way, you're just really mixing it just to make sure that it cooks evenly and it won't form some lumps. I promise it will be worth it, you can smell it while you're doing it. Just pour your love in and it will taste amazing after. There are times when you look at it and it feels like nothing's going on. <laughs> It's kind of a slow burner, but at the end, it will just be very quick in making and in, in becoming that thick consistency that we're looking for. So just be patient and continue stirring. After 10 years, <laughs> we're still here. <laughs> when it starts to thicken, you will see some white lumps forming but it should be okay because we're going to sieve this mixture before mixing in the butter anyway. I would normally use half of this recipe for my cake fillings and half to go on an airtight container and I keep it in my fridge for three to four weeks. I use it on my toast or I use it on other things and sometimes I just get the teaspoon of it and eat it. <laughs> I'm just going to test it with a spatula. So you can see I scraped through my finger and it's not really joining together and it's holding and it's holding its shape. So I think that's good. And also that was really yummy. 
So what we're going to do now is to sieve this into a different container. It will help it cool as well. And what I like to do is use a flat container because that way the lemon curd can spread more. And when it spread more, it will cool um, faster. So I'm going to get the whisk again. What I'm gonna do is, as you can see, my butter here right now, um, it's diced. It will be easier for it to incorporate this way. I have 30 grams of butter. Just make sure the butter is incorporated everywhere. The last thing we need to do is cool it. But before we do that, we're going to cover it in cling film. Whenever we're Whenever we're chilling anything like lemon curd like this, where it can form a skin, I always recommend covering it and making sure the cling film touches the top of the mixture. It'll just prevent from, from a skin to form. Okay. Make sure it's also airtight, just by sealing the sides here. Okay, that's it. I'm very happy with this. I tasted it earlier and I'm sure it'll also taste the same when you make it at home. What I like doing is chilling it for maybe 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature so that it cools down a little bit before I put it in the fridge. I'm going to make a cake where I will use this lemon curd so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you again for being with me. I hope to see you next time. Bye!